welcome to a new vlog today we're going to review the top don tc004 mini ir camera which you see here on my desk this has been kindly sent in by top don for the purpose of this review but as usual they have no control over my review and no money has been received for this before we dive into the details let's describe the general picture here because this is aimed to be an affordable thermal camera right from the packaging you can see how they saved cost by putting it inside that vacuum form package instead of a more expensive fancy box and inside the package you get just the camera and the usb type c to a cable for charging in data and depending on your location this camera will be priced at roughly 226 euros 19 percent vat included for the eu or 199 USD for the Top Don US uh, warehouse. It's nice that they have these different warehouses for EU, US and Australia. This means you can get the product delivered fast from a local warehouse. The camera is however also available on platforms like Amazon and AliExpress should you wish to order it from there and I will be placing links to all of these places plus a coupon code in the description below so do check them out for more details. One important note, there are other similar models in the lineup with slightly different specs and features. So this one is the uh, TC004 Mini, not to be confused with the other TC004 models, uh, which I'll include a screenshot on screen. And the main specs of this uh, camera are a uh, sensor resolution of 128 by 128 pixels, which is enhanced with a digital function called uh, TISR up to 240 by 240 pixels so that's an 87% boost from just a software algorithm which is impressive uh, the frame rate is a very respectable 25 Hertz and I'll see if I can include a couple of uh, uh, screenshots on screen to show you the difference between having that software algorithm enabled or disabled the focal range is 2.6 millimeter with a field of view 40 by 30 degrees uh, so that's quite narrow a uh, measurement range is minus 20 degrees celsius up to plus 450 degrees celsius uh, there are two measurement ranges which you can select from the built-in menu it can also measure temperatures with plus or minus 2 degrees celsius accuracy and it can do center spot or automatic hot and cold spot tracking the lcd screen is 2.8 inch wide with a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels and it can achieve a 15 hour runtime on the built-in 2900 milliamp hour battery charging time is quoted as four hours has internal storage of 512 megabytes with no available expansion slot it cannot do video recording and if you think that 512 megabytes of internal storage is not enough i'd say don't stress about it the captured images are very small so you can store hundreds of them on that 500 megabytes it won't be an issue build quality feels decent but even though you see these different colors here there are no soft parts it's all plastic there is however uh, protection around the uh, screen area and around the IR sensor area. USB port can be accessed through this um, rubber cover at the top and then on the bottom of the handle there is a tripod mount. Camera has a rating of IP54 protection and a 2 meter drop proof rating. The weight is 350 grams and you can really feel that this is a light camera which makes it very nice for longer usage while holding it in your hand. Boot time is uh, fast as shown earlier just a few seconds and there's also some sort of standby mode I think because when I click the power button it just turns the screen on or off. And then if you do a long press it will actually shut down now on to some practical testing here's some uh, image i captured uh, while examining my um, uh, air conditioner split unit inside the office and next to that i also have a small electrical fuse box which is pretty much ambient temperature uh, nothing to see there but you would of course want to remove the cover when ins inspecting an electrical box so that you can also get a clearer view of the electrical um, wiring behind it here is a couple of uh, these uh, ceiling lights which have the leds placed on the ed edges uh, which clearly show and uh, here's another example showing my desktop pc and my ethernet switch 
uh, which is uh, right back there. Uh, we can clearly see and, and measure those and we get their temperatures. However, this camera is not intended for close-up electronics or other small device inspection. Here is an example of a PCB. It will show you there is a hot spot. It will give you the temperature, but it will not be capable of showing you know, individual components. But nor does it claim to do so as this is aimed at you know, industrial larger subject measurement types. The camera can capture pictures by hitting the uh, trigger button and you can view or delete those images from the album menu which is quite nicely structured it will create a folder per each uh, calendar day There is no uh, Wi-Fi functionality like on the more expensive models and there is no PC app for analyzing images. Uh, theoretically, transfer of the saved media is done via the USB connection, but when I tried to do it by connecting to my Windows 11 machine, the camera showed up as unknown USB device with an error. I tried different ports, USB 2, USB 3 rated, uh, I tried different USB cables, I even tried it on my Mac machine with no luck. I also can't spot the usual USB mode uh, setting under the camera menu settings, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I've also checked their website to see if there are any downloads available, nothing shows up for the TC004 mini model, so as it is, I don't see a way for you to download the captured media from the internal storage, which is a bummer. I'm not sure if this is a problem for uh, with my particular unit or if it's a more general firmware problem that affects all shipped units. Either way, it's pretty bad because I don't see how it can be solved by a firmware update if the camera doesn't even show up enumerate on a PC when connected via USB. The temperature measurement function does work and I mostly prefer to use this auto tracking feature where it can track the low and high spots uh, from the image but you uh, need to make sure you have the correct range selected in the settings and these IR cameras will typically have a low and a high range here is also an image with my soldering iron set to 350 degrees Celsius obviously you would uh, have to know your IR measurement caveats things like emissivity, distance and reflections can play a big role in introducing huge errors into your measurement uh, but I would uh, say the camera does a good job overall even for the average user providing usable measurements. By using the arrow keys you can scroll through a few different uh, image modes. Personally I remain a fan of the uh, standard image mode but that's just me. You could be a fan of the black and white mode and that's fine. I would say that overall the menu system is pretty intuitive and simple to navigate and understand. It offers you pretty much basic options that you would expect from a thermal camera and again that's fine for an entry level thermal camera. Image quality is quite decent, again considering the price point it's certainly usable for general inspection of electrical panels, solar panel installations, AC units, stuff like that. Refresh rate of 25Hz allows you to do smooth inspection, battery life is great, camera is nice, it's pretty light when you hold it in your hand so it will feel comfortable for prolonged usage. But given that USB problem which prevents you from downloading stored images, you have no other way of doing that. There is no micro SD card, there is no Wi-Fi functionality, so would I recommend getting this camera? Well, only if you're um, constrained by budget and you can live with it using it through the built-in screen exclusively and you wouldn't need downloading the images. In that case, given the price point and the features it offers, yeah, it might make sense. However, I would have preferred to have that USB interface working. And if you're willing to spend more, then I would probably recommend the guide E2 purchased from leshop.eu because for an extra 100 euros, you get so much more functionality and performance. Let me know how you feel about everything shown here. Would you be able to live with using it exclusively through the built-in screen with no option to download the images? Is that something that would fit into your average use case? Let me know in the comments below. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll be seeing you next week with this bad boy, uh, which is in another league uh, in both performance and cost. I'll be reviewing this one in the next week's video.